Karen, and I'm here to do 45 minutes of yoga with you. So I hope you're relaxed. I hope that you can put everything to the side. That's gonna be your best bet, is if you can just bring yourself to this present moment. Take a few breaths before you start class. Make sure that um, any of your worries before class, anything that's gonna happen after class, just decide to put them to the side and focus on this present moment and you will not regret it. So we're gonna be working, of course, on flexibility, strength, balance, all with deep breaths the whole time. Uh, we're gonna be using a mat and a yoga strap. This is a Zoom class that I videoed, so when I'm facing the camera, you'll either have to do what you see me doing or what you hear me saying, but we always are balanced by the end of class. So uh, just take a deep breath. Congratulations for taking this 45 minutes just for you. So just um, make this a uh, self-centered practice today. In other words, most things outside of yoga cannot be just centered on you. You're always considering other people and, and other things, but make this 45 minutes just about you. What's best for you, modify when you need to, rest when you need to, and uh, challenge yourself. Here we go. Here, and we are gonna go ahead and get started. I've got a mat and I've got a yoga strap and we are gonna go ahead and start standing up today. So just have that yoga strap near you. Uh, the only other thing I'll mention is that if you want um, a yoga block or a couple books that are a little bit bigger, um, if you are feeling extra tight today, some of sometimes a yoga block, actually anytime you do yoga um, may be helpful. So feel free to grab that as well. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with those feet about hip width apart. We're gonna bring that chin in our chest, Put your shoulder blades in your back pockets and bring our attention to a couple things during these first several breaths that we take. So first and foremost is our posture. We want to stand up tall. We want to think about those shoulder blades, so right behind your shoulders, pressing into your back pockets and your chin and your chest. Let's feel your rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract. We gently roll one ear to one shoulder. And bring that chin in your chest and slowly switch. You can just do that a couple times, nice, slow, and controlled. Very good. So let's bring that head back to neutral and just bring your feet about the width of the mat apart. Engage your abs and walk those fingertips down. So let's hold on to those elbows and just gently rock your whole torso towards one leg and then the other. And your knees can be slightly bent here. They can be straight, it's completely up to you. But as you're breathing in and out through your nose, I want you to feel that rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract. Try your best to put everything else to the side, allowing yourself these several minutes to take care of your body and your mind. You will not regret it. So let's go ahead and grab onto that right leg and gently take your nose towards that knee. Let's go ahead and take that right arm up, look up to the ceiling and think about rolling that right shoulder open as you breathe. And let's go ahead and walk our hands over to the left, nose towards that left knee, deep breath in and out. And let's reach our left arm up, rolling that left shoulder open as you look to the ceiling. And we're going to go ahead and walk those feet a little closer together. And we're going to glance up and lift that tailbone and lunge back one foot and then the other. So you want your wrists below your shoulders. This is simply an upper push-up position. So you can be on your knees, you can be on your toes. It's completely up to you. But let's hug the sides and come on down to the mat. Let's go ahead and come to Sphinx first. So we're on our forearms. We're gonna lift our head up to the ceiling and think about the chest gently pulling forward. Anytime we come to up dog, if it's 
uh, hard on your wrists or your shoulders, you're more than welcome to come to Sphinx like this. Let's back those hands up underneath our shoulders and lift that head up to the sky, open the chest, and take some deep breaths in and out. Let's come on back to child's pose. So knees apart, big toes together. I want you to rest your forehead on the mat and allow the middle of the chest to just surrender to the mat. So you don't necessarily have to be sitting on your heels, okay? So the hips are just sitting back as far as your knees will let you. And you're living from the shoulders to your hips, completely relaxed. This is a great place to come to anytime you need a modification as we move on. Now let's walk our fingertips towards the front of the mat and your hips are in the air and feet are separated at this point. We're gonna let the middle of our chest just sink to the mat. And then your underarms as well are just sinking towards the mat. This is good for your shoulders, your bicep tendon, as well as your back. So let's come up onto our hands and knees and do a couple cat-cow stretches. So arch up into that cat stretch. Gently glance to the ceiling. Let's do that one more time. Good, now let's just simply tuck our toes under and come to down dog. So our feet are hip width apart. Let's take turns bending one knee and then the other slowly, loosening up those lower legs. And as you exhale, let's take those right toes up to the ceiling. Walk the hands back a little bit. Gently take your nose towards that left knee, right toes reach. You're gonna swing through and lunge between your hands. Let's have that right knee right above the ankle and float your chest up into your crescent lunge. So your pelvis is tucked under. You wanna get a good left hip flexor stretch. Please remember each person's gonna look a little different in these poses. Let's swing through and bring it back up. And we're not in competition with anybody. Make this all about you. Make this a selfish practice today. In other words, all about what's best for your body. Let's bring those hands down. Go ahead and bring that right foot back. Keep those abs engaged and let's come on down nice and slow, hugging our sides. Nice up dog. You could put a push up here if you want to, and then come to down dog. So in down dog, I want you to shift some of the weight out of the heel of the hand, more towards your knuckles. So just a little bit more evenly distributed weight. The top of the head sinks to the ground and your tailbone lifts, but you're not pointing your toes to do that. You're relaxing your feet. And now let's roll to our right side plank. So a modification is the knee on the mat, or you could have both arm, or both knees straight. And you do want that wrist to be directly below your shoulder. Let's roll that left shoulder open and just take some deep breaths in and out. And on your exhale, coming back to plank, keep those abs strong and hug the sides, come on down. Nice up dog. Push up or not, completely your choice, and then down dog. Now as your tailbone lifts up and your feet relax, also relax your quadriceps, the front of your thighs. If we're tensing them up, our hamstrings don't get as good of a stretch. Let's walk or softly jump those feet to our hands. We're gonna glance up, lift the tailbone, reverse swan dive up, standing back bend. Good, and let's bring that right arm down, keep those feet together, reaching our left arm up and those right fingertips walk down our leg. And for half moon, that right hand's gonna grab the wrist, gently pull in, let's just rest the head, pressing that left foot into the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale a little bit deeper. Again, that left foot pushes into the mat. And we're gonna come to the front of the mat. Standing back bend. 
and look past those fingertips, come on down. Glance up, lift the tailbone, lunge back one foot, and then the other. You're in that plank again, abs strong, come on down slowly. Nice up dog, open that chest. Feel free to do a push up if you want to and down more. Connect back to that breath, especially if the mind started to wander. Simply exhale out those distractions and think about the sensations in your muscles. On your exhale, let's take those left toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back a little bit. Nose towards your right knee, left toes reach. As we gently swing through, that left knee is right above the ankle. Let's float that chest up into that crescent lunge. We're gonna tuck the pelvis under. Nice right hip flexor stretch. And look past those fingertips, swing through. And once again, leaning it back. Bringing our palms to the mat and that left foot back. Wrists below the shoulders, come on down slow. Nice up dog, open chest. Push up if you want to and down dog. So again, take some deep breaths in and out. And remember you want more weight shifted into the ball of the hand rather than the heel of the hand. More towards those knuckles. And now let's roll to our left side plank. So left wrist directly over the shoulder. That knee can be down on the mat or not. I truly want you to be doing what's safe and best for your body today. Relaxed face, deep breath in and out. Exhale, we're gonna slowly come back to plank. Abs strong, hug those sides, come on down. Up dog, push up or not, and then down dog. Rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract, tailbone lifts, feet relax. And let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Let's glance up, lift that tailbone, reverse swan dive up, standing back bend. Okay, let's take that left arm down. Feet together for half moon as you reach up and left fingertips walk down. Left hand's gonna grab the right wrist, just gently pull, completely rest your head, pushing that right foot down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, a little bit deeper. Nice stretch down that right side. And let's open it up into mountain and allow our eyes to find a focal point. So let's find that focal point, somewhere where the eyes are gonna stay and not move around. We're gonna shift our weight to that right foot, bring our hands to our heart. Now this could be your tree pose, just on your left toes, all right? You could bring the foot up if you want to, but remember if your balance is feeling off today and you need to stay right here, just be fine with that. Take your body and your mind for what it is right now in this present moment. So we're going to bring our branches up and each tree is going to be a little different. We could have our hands together. We could have our hands apart. So without shrugging the shoulders, see if you can lengthen your torso. Think about lengthening the trunk of that tree. And on your exhale, very slowly bring those hands back to the heart. And let's extend the left leg behind us. So abs are engaged, that left leg is behind you. You're welcome to bring it up to those hips. You can bring it back down towards the mat. It's completely up to you. On your exhale, gently lunge. Let's bring those hands down. Let's get that right foot to the right and the hands on the inside of the foot. Now, 
If you need to modify and put the left knee down, do. See if you can keep it off if possible. So we're gonna go ahead and stay right here, take our right arm up and glance up to the ceiling and twist. So take a breath or two. And then we're gonna take that hand down. We're gonna start to bend our elbows, bringing the forearms towards the mat. You can stay on your palms. You could also use that block I was talking about or a book to put those forearms on. But either way, do your best to have your weight evenly distributed. If your knee kind of comes out to the side, that's fine. But if the, if the foot is lifting up, block that foot a little bit there. Take one more deep breath in and out here. And then everybody place your left knee on the mat and adjust yourself so again, your weight's evenly distributed onto those forearms or palms. Each exhale, that left thigh just sinks down towards the mat. On your exhale, let's come back to those palms. And let's bring that right foot to the middle of the mat. Let's shift our weight back and let's slide that right foot straight down the middle, not to, to an angle to e either side. And remember, this is your practice, your yoga practice. Stop when you've got enough of a right hamstring stretch. You could walk those hands out a little bit farther and start to bend your elbows. Let's all relax that right foot and take your left quadricep and simply sink it down towards the mat. Imagine that that right hamstring has the breath blowing up and down the back of that leg. One more deep cleansing breath here. We're gonna very slowly ease our way out of this. Placing the right foot on the mat and then the right knee. And let's bring our torso upright and clasp our fingertips at our low back. Let's gently pull the shoulder blades down into your imaginary back pockets. Lift those hands a little bit. Only if you want to, let's fold forward. Lifting those hands up, you don't have to do that part. You could stay upright. Take a deep breath in and out. And let's all relax those arms at our sides and let the shoulders completely drop. Let's come up into our hands and knees. Arch up into that nice cat cow stretch. Keep the glance to the ceiling and come on up to the front of the mat for our plank again, wrist below the shoulders. Come on down slow, really engage those abs and come on up to up dog. Open the chest, lengthen from the top of the head to the tailbone. Push up or not and then down dog. Make sure in down dog that those feet are hip width apart, not closer or farther. Roll some weight towards your knuckles out of the heel of the hand and relax the quadriceps and the feet. Let's walk or softly jump those feet to our hands. And keeping those feet together, either hold on to your calves or cross the forearms, hold your opposite calf and straighten those legs just the best that you can. Deep breaths, nose towards your knees. And on your exhale, let's release the arms. Glance up and reverse swan dive up. Standing back then. And let's open it up in the mountain. And let's allow our eyes to find that either same focal point or if you need something different, that's fine. 
and you're gonna shift your weight to that left foot. Eyes stay on that focal point. Remember, you could come right back to here if that balance feels off today. We're gonna go ahead and bring the right foot up if you would like. And hands to the heart, abs are engaged. We're gonna take those arms up. We're not gonna shrug those shoulders. Our branches are gonna look however we want them to, hands together or apart. But let's lengthen the trunk of that tree. From the bottom of your hip, uh, excuse me, bottom of your rib cage to the top of the hip bone. Good, hands back to the heart. Let's go ahead and extend that right leg behind you. Abs are engaged. You're gonna come into warrior three. Your choice completely how low the chest comes and how high that foot comes. Deep breath. We're gonna very gently lunge on the toes. Bring our hands down and the left foot comes to the left. You know you can take your right knee to the mat when you need to. Okay, let's try to keep it off if possible. And you're gonna to start to bend your elbows. Feel free to stay right here. And then that left arm is gonna reach up. Let's look to the ceiling. Roll that left shoulder over. And let's bring those hands down. And you can start to sink towards the mat. You could also stay on the palms. It's completely up to you. Chin in the chest. Let's take some breaths. Each exhale, try to relax some of that tightness. Release any tension you notice. And then let's everybody bring your right knee to the mat. You can kind of shift around a little bit, making sure that you're evenly distributed to right and left, palm or forearm. And remember, if the foot starts to lift up, just walk your foot left a little bit. Head is heavy to the ground, so the gravity is your friend. Deep breath into the tightness you feel. And exhale, try to dissolve. And let's come back to the palms. Let's walk that left foot towards the middle of the mat. And we're gonna shift our weight back to get that left hamstring stretched. Slide the foot straight out, just not at an angle, and simply stop when you have enough of a left hamstring stretch. Your right knee could go a little farther back if you want to. Hands could walk towards that foot. Now relax left foot. Let's sink the chest down towards that left thigh. You probably notice you've got one side that's a little stronger, a little side, one side that's a little bit more flexible. Just take your body where it is and take one little step towards getting stronger, more flexible and better balance. One more deep cleansing breath here. End of your exhale, very slowly ease your way out. And go ahead and bring that left knee to the mat. And let's walk those fingertips to the front of the mat. Keep your hips up, rest your forehead. And once again, let those underarms just sink towards the mat along with the middle of the chest. And come on back up to those hands and knees. Give yourself a nice cat-cow stretch. Good, and let's come to our plank. Wrist below the shoulders, continuing to flow as we come down. Nice up dog, open chest, lifting that head up. Push up if you want to, and down dog. Connect back to that breath and any negative self-talk that kind of snuck in there, simply exhale it out. And 
And let's take our right toes up to the ceiling. Walk our hands back a little bit as we bend that right knee and hang it to our left. Feel that nice opening of that right hip and as you put more weight in your left hand, and the leg is just heavy. You're feeling that stretch straight down the outside of the right, right side of that rib cage. Now for pigeon, let's slide that knee between our hands. Now let's tuck our left toes under. We can walk that left leg back. As we open that chest, we can take that right foot and kind of inch it towards your left hand, but you don't want to make yourself roll to the right. Let's Face the belly button towards the mat and walk straight down the middle of the mat. Let's take your fists, stack them up and rest your forehead. Of course, you're welcome to sink down and rest the forehead on the mat, but you could keep them on your fists or if you do have a yoga block, you can rest them there as well. Every exhale, try to let go of a little bit more tension, especially the outside of that right hip joint. Let's glance to our right and rest on the left side of the face for a deep breath in and out. And then let's slide that right hand to your low back. Allow your shoulders just to flop. really dissolving tension. As you're ready, untwisting. And let's glance forward, take our left fingertips, walk them a little farther to roll this left hip bone towards the mat again. Forehead down and breathe. And walking those hands back. Let's open up that chest and slide that right knee underneath you. And you can take a second to kind of shake those hips side to side, loosening up a little bit. And now with the right wrist directly under the shoulder, please extend your right leg behind you. Extend that left arm out, abs are engaged, reach long. If you want to, so you have the option of staying right here. If you want to, that right foot comes in the air, left hand reaches around to grab it. And as you lift out of your right shoulder, you take the top of the right foot, push it away from you, lift the right toes up to the ceiling and breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend and reach. And hand and knee down. I want you to bring your knees apart, big toes together, and look up to your right and rotate your wrist. And then right hand palm up underneath the left. Sit back on the heels. Let's rest on the right side of the face. And take your left fingertips, walk them towards the front of the mat. Deep breath in and out. And let's put the back of that left hand to your low back. Allow your shoulder, left shoulder, just to flop. You can even wiggle those right fingertips a little bit. And slowly untwist. Come back up to those hands and knees. Nice cat-cow stretch. And let's come to our plank. Wrists below the shoulders. And let's hug the sides. Come on down. Up dog, push up if you want to, and down dog. As you're letting the rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract, relax the quadriceps. Hips lift up and the head sinks down. Let's take our left toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back a little bit, nose towards your right knee, and bend your left knee, let it hang to your right. Put more weight in that right hand, opening up that left hip, 
and stretching straight down the left side of the rib cage. And on the exhale, that left knee is going to slide between the hands for pigeon. Let's take our right toes, walk that leg back. And as we open up the chest, let's take that left foot, inch it towards the right hand, as long as it doesn't make you roll left. Okay, let's keep that belly button facing down and walk our hands down the middle of the mat. Rest your forehead somewhere. Deep breath into the tightness you notice on the left hip joint. Deep breath directly into that tightness. Exhale, relax it completely. As you glance left, resting on the right side of the face, and sliding your left hand to the low back. Simply a suggestion, remember, just take, take it or leave it. Same thing with all the suggestions throughout class. In the end, you're in charge. You're listening to your body. Slowly untwist. And as we glance forward, let's take our right fingertips, walk a little bit farther. Make sure you're kind of rolling that right hip back to the mat, forehead down, and take a couple more breaths. Let's start to walk ourselves back. Let's open that chest and slide that left knee underneath you. And once again, kind of shake those hips a little bit, loosening up. And with the left wrist directly under the shoulder, let's extend your left leg behind you. Without shrugging the shoulders, our right arm is gonna reach long. You're welcome to stay right here. If you want to, left foot in the air with that right hand to grab it. And we're gonna lift out of that left shoulder, lift the foot up and take the top of the foot Press it away from you. Inhale, really lift. And exhale, reach nice and long. Hand and knee down. Now we're gonna bring our knees apart and big toes together and look up to your left, rotating the wrist. Left hand palm up underneath the right. Let's rest on the left side of the face. Take our right fingertips, walk them towards the front of the mat. Exhale the back of that right hand to your low back and allowing your right shoulder just to flop. Slowly untwisting. Coming up to those knees. Do a couple more things for the shoulders. So your right thumb is going to lead as you bring the arm up. You're going to flip and reach the right pinky to the back as far as you can. The right pinky comes up in the back and then you flip it around. It's like flossing your right shoulder joint. One more time, same side, right thumb. And then that pinky leads really reach back. Seems simple, but it's very good for that shoulder joint, right pinky leads if you need to flip it around. There are lots of muscles, tendons, ligaments connect into that shoulder joint. Let's do the left. Left thumb leads, flip it around, that left pinky leads and reach. Good, taking care of that shoulder joint, left pinky comes up in the back and flip. Let's do that one more time. Left thumb leads, flip it around, left pinky leads, really reach. Go on, bring it up in the back and flip it around. Good. All right, go ahead and have a seat at the front of your mat. You'll want that yoga strap to be near you. So you can grab it when you need it. 
So shoulders down, let's come into one boat pose and then we're gonna rock to our back. So shoulders relax, arms are up, abs are engaged. You're lifting one foot or both. Please listen to your back and don't do anything that's unsafe. Inhale, toes up if that feels okay for you and rock yourself back. Hug those knees into your chest tight. Ah, shoulders down, look over to the right. And glance to your left. Exhale, head back to neutral, happy baby pose. Straight arms between the knees. Grab onto ankles or feet. You're gonna gently pull the knees down towards the sides of your rib cage. Elbows, press those knees apart and gently rock side to side. Happy baby. And you can continue to do this or your first two fingers, make a hook for your big toes. And we push those heels away from us, allowing those legs to relax. And we release, hands on those knees. Let's draw some circles to massage that low back. Take those knees a little farther away. You'll be able to get to the low back. Let's get to go to the other direction. Good, let's place the feet on the mat. Fingertips touching your heels and feet farther apart than the hips. Let's press those hips up into our bridge. Good, stretching those hip flexors that can get very tight. Can make our back not so happy sometimes. Lower down slowly. Go ahead and grab your yoga strap and let's place that right foot in the strap. Left leg flat. Right hand's gonna hold the strap as it comes out to the right and you glance to your left. Now let's keep our left hip rolled to the mat and completely relax that right leg as you breathe. You can even gently pull with that right hand. Bringing that leg up, we're gonna remember that each exhale is an opportunity to deepen the stretch. We move that strap towards our heel, relaxed foot, Right knee is straight. You're gonna gently pull. The, the back of your right knee is pushing away from you. Deep breaths. And we're gonna back away, move the strap towards the ball of your foot. Get a nice flex and gently pull it towards you, taking care of your lower leg. Rolling that foot out or in, that's up to you. And let's release. Hold the strap with your left hand, take it across the body. Let's look to our right over our right arm like a bird's wing. Completely relax that right leg in the strap and gently pull. As you exhale, pull just that little bit more. Good, let's bring that right leg up. Let's place both feet in that strap. Gently pulling the legs towards us. Those hips can lift a little bit. And we can lower down. Bring that right leg flat on the mat. You can go ahead and hold the strap with your left hand. Take it out to your left and look to your right. Making sure we keep the right hip rolled to the mat and just gently pull with that left hand. Deep breaths. Relax the left leg all the way just flopped into the strap. And let's bring that left leg straight up. Let's move the strap towards your heel, relaxed foot and gently pull towards you, pressing that left knee away from you. And back 
working away. Strap towards the ball of the foot. Let's flex that foot as you pull the leg towards you, taking care of your left calf. Feel free to roll that foot out or in. Deep breaths. Relax and let's take the leg across the body. That right hand holds your strap. Glance to your left and completely relax that left leg. Gentle pull and deep breath. Your exhale is your opportunity to deepen the stretch if you want. Good. We're going to back away and place that strap next to you. And we're going to lengthen the body from fingertips to toes as long as you can and then gently slide those arms down towards the sides palms up eyes closed feet flop out naturally all that being said make sure that you get in a comfortable position for you total resting pose should be a place that you're completely relaxed and able to focus on your breath and scanning down the body, making sure that we let go of any tension or negativity that we don't want to take with us for the rest of the day. So let's pull all that breath to the very top of the head. And exhale, feel that breath roll across your forehead, stream across your temples and across the back of the head. Exhale flows across your eyes and your nose and your cheekbones. As that exhale rolls across the back of your jaw, straight down the sides and back of the neck. Exhale flows across your shoulders, allowing those shoulders to just relax to the mat or a nice open chest. As that breath rolls across your rib cage, one rib at a time, flowing from your mid back down to the small of your back and across your waist and your abdominals. Feel that breath around your hips and glutes as you inhale and exhale, completely relax those hips and glutes. Let them mold to the mat. Releasing the tightness in your quadriceps and your hamstrings, your knees, shins and calves. ankles and then feel that breath round your heels flowing up the arch of your foot rolling across the top of your foot between the toes and all the way to your toe tips exhale and just move the toes gently letting any tightness tension anything negative just escape through your toe tips Noticing a calm and a peace. A clear perspective on what's important to focus on and what it's time to let go of. You're ready for the rest of your day. We're gonna take our time coming out of this position slowly. So bending one knee and placing that foot on the mat, allow the other knee to join it. Just slowly roll to one side, making your bottom arm your pillow. And exhale, just pressing yourself up to a nice sitting position. Sitting up nice and tall, deep breath in, reaching the arms up. 
And exhale, bringing those hands to the heart. Surrendering everything in that head to your heart. You guys have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.